Welcome back to Investor Intel, everyone. I'm Peter Clausey. Very curious about what we're going to be talking about today, which is a cobalt-free formulation for a battery, uh, a rechargeable battery. With us is the uh, ever effervescent Don Blundell from Nano One. How are you, Dan? I'm great, Peter. Great to be here. Well, I haven't talked to you since PDAC. Yeah, it has been a while. And uh, yeah, uh, and PDAC, well, the last one seems like it was years ago. Um, yeah. Of course, but because uh, uh, so much has happened this year. But. It certainly has. Um, Nano One has been around a long time. If, we, if you go to the website, there's a really nice timeline showing the initial placement. Of, was it $3 million back in 2016 and the growth of the company over time with the cash and the planned runway through 2024? Whoever designed that did a good job. I'm more curious about last week's press release. In last week's press release, which I just had on my which I just had on my screen, it was actually just yesterday. It wasn't even last week. So it was uh, yesterday. Yeah. Holy God. Okay, I got to slow down a little. Uh, it's disappeared on me. While I find it, why don't you tell us what was in there? Listen. So the news is about um, our uh, uh, a battery uh, system that we have designed with using uh, what what we call a high voltage spinel, which is a, a cathode chemistry that consists of lithium, nickel, and manganese, and no cobalt. And lithium, nickel, and manganese. And manganese, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, and so there's no cobalt in it, so it kind of eliminates that whole um, supply chain risk. And, 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 and like no cobalt, not like BYD that has a little bit of cobalt. You're no, talking no, no. none. No, none at all, and 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 um, I, and I should probably make sure that people understand that it's it's a totally different um, uh, 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 crystal um, uh, formation in that in that material. So the you know the, all the other stuff where they got low cobalt NCA, what people are putting into it, like what's in a Tesla car, going to eight one one, all that stuff is a is is a crystal that has a whole bunch of layers of nickel, manganese, and cobalt, and then layers of lithium. Um, very energy dense uh, material, um, but um, is uh, the more cobalt you take out of it, the more unstable it gets. The the, the high voltage spinel, which is the stuff we announced this week in, in a battery, is an entirely different structure. So it's a three dimensional structure, like let's say, like I said, a monkey bar set. So it's got it's got vertical structures all over the place and horizontal ones, and lithium fits in the middle. You can pull lithium in and out without the structure collapsing or doing anything, and the nickel. The nickel and manganese are actually uh, uh, quite stable, so so uh, you don't need cobalt in that in that kind of battery material. Um, however, it, it runs at a very high voltage and and has uh, had been that's been a yeah that's that's its impediment really is is at those voltages the electrolytes and and anodes that go into batteries typically fail very very early within a couple cycles, and we've found a way to design a battery uh, using relatively conventional materials, um, including our our, our spinel. And uh, and we've made up, we've we've overcome those impediments, so we don't get this really heavy gassing in the battery, and uh, we don't get any sort of contamination building up on the on the anode side, and that's allowed us to to uh, to demonstrate a, a viable commercial battery architecture that can actually take advantage of this high voltage cobalt free material. So, what do you use for your electrolytes? It's just a it's a conventional electrolyte, and that's that's part of the uh, it's part of our intellectual property, of course. You know the design of it, and, and uh, at this point, it's not public public information. But so whenever I talk about batteries, I tell people who, who don't know there are only five parts to a battery: cathode, anode, a circuit linking them, electrolytes in the middle, and something to hold it all together. And then when I'm done, it always looks like a happy face. Ah, yeah, okay, right. So you're talking about doing work on the cathode. That is correct. Yes. Are you doing work on the anode? Um, so, so we're not. Yeah, we're not doing work on the anode. Although, when we do, when we build test batteries, of course, we have to do put all the pieces together, and we ch typically will. Uh, we aim for for uh, conventional materials because we're not. We don't want to add complexity on any other components. And and we have found in that process uh, a way to make these uh, uh, make a battery work at 4.7 volts. Um, without the gassing and contamination issues that would be normally associated with that. And this material happens to operate in that range, and that's the, that's the key thing. What kind of battery are we talking about? Like, I've got the Samsung A20. I'm working on a Mac here. I've got my other laptop over there. The guy down the street has an electric vehicle. Which one of those uses your anode, your cathode? Well, none of your neighbors... Um, uh... <laughs> 
uh, devices uses our cathode, um, obviously, but the, the technology is intended for all of the above. It doesn't really matter. Um, a high voltage spinel um, is a is a cathode material that could go in, into consumer electronics. It could go into power tools. It could go into uh, uh, energy storage stuff, and 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 of course uh, electric vehicles. So it, it it's a cathode that has um, has benefits for all of those applications. Its strength. Um, uh, you know, every cathode material, every different chemistry has its strengths and weaknesses. Some of them are good at power, some of them are good at, at, um, at safety, some of them last longer, um, some of them are denser. It's a, it's, it's a, and, and that, yeah, there's, there's that classic five point matrix we all see. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the, none of them are all of the above. Um, the, 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 the materials that are going into a, an electric vehicle today are typically these energy dense NMC materials. Everyone's trying to thrift out the cobalt, but you reach the point of diminishing returns from a stability point of view. And we've got technology on that side we're working on as well. Um, the, uh, the, um, uh, the high voltage spinel is, is unique in that it operates at a, at, a, at a high voltage. It doesn't have that same capacity as these NMC materials, but the voltage compensates for that and gives you gives you back the power. So you end up running it at a higher voltage and a lower current, and that means it runs more efficiently, the less heat buildup, um, and it's just a, overall a more efficient uh, efficient battery. And because it's dominantly manganese with a little bit of nickel sprinkled in, it um, it's cheap. And, it, and it's a better supply chain. It's a better supply chain, and because the, the um, uh, inherently, the 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 the, uh, the power is 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 nearly as good as NMC uh, because of the voltage range. You end up getting a very good dollar per kilowatt hour um, uh, uh, end product out of it. So, are, are you so are you looking to license the technology to other people, sit back and collect your dividend checks, or do you want to be a manufacturer of the batteries yourself? So, so we are a licensing strategy. So our, our technology, our, 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 our strategy is to develop the processes for making these cathode materials, the cathode materials themselves, batteries that use the cathode materials wherever we can, and then and license that technology or, or joint venture with, with, uh, with partners on manufacturing. Look, our DNA is in, is in uh, process innovation, really. That's where it's all at. And, 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 we, and look, we have innovations you know, at the process materials and battery end of things. But the, we're looking to partner with people who understand how to you know, control supply chain, who have the DNA to do you know, consistent manufacturing and have the, have the sales channels in place. And, um, and that's kind of, and that's, you know, we bring the innovation to the table. They bring the sort of the, the manufacturing horsepower and, and the idea is to license a partner with those, those groups. When I was flipping through the website, I saw a video discussing a recent partnership you struck. Yes. Tell me about that. So, so that's uh, th that would be uh, the one we announced in August. Uh, I think is the one you're referring to. It's with a, a, an Asian uh, uh, materials producer who currently supplies some of the world, some of the Asia's largest auto manufacturers, and they um, they uh, we're working with them because they see an opportunity here really to carve out uh, some intellectual property in a space that will give them a long tailed business um, um, supplying into the space. That's really, really key. Uh, what they don't want is they don't want other people to be able to come in and creep and take away some of that business. So. Are they betting on a lot of horses or are you their only horse in that race for long-term technology? Well, I think they've got some of their own internal technology development, but, um, uh, and you know, we don't, we don't know everyone else they're talking to, but we're pretty sure um, we're, uh, we're in a really good position with them. Um, and, and, and the progress on that testing is going very well. The results are very good. It, it is a long process. Uh, you know, you, you, you develop these things at the laboratory, you, you, you build out sort of pilot level quantities, you have to test them uh, with another materials producer and then with a battery producer and then with the OEM uh, and all of that validation of course takes months and, and, and even longer so uh, but uh, uh, progress on it's going very well and, and the idea here is that they've got the captive customer they've got the manufacturing facilities um, once we've proven it out then we start to shoehorn it in and and start building up these um, uh, the manufacturing process and delivering on on that demand almost like a co-packer yeah yeah, and, and of course, it'd be using our technology. So uh, on the manufacturing side, so there's a there's a there's a joint really it's a joint venturing opportunity. I see this. They also have, they have some of their own technology um, um, components that they're adding in here. So we're taking our technology know how theirs, adding it together to make the you know the sum of the total better. So what's the next major thing we should be looking for? Looking at the timeline that's on your uh, website. Uh, 
look, we've got uh, we've probably got 20 groups we're actively working with in, in various forms. Some of it's as simple as just uh, early stage uh, materials testing. Some of it's more joint development, like we're doing with this Asian partner. And uh, there, uh, these programs extend from the OEMs. Uh, Volkswagen is one of our announced partners, but we were also working with a bunch of their peers. Um, where we're looking, uh, we're working with the with some of the uh, larger. Uh, cathode producers, as well as some large chemical companies, are looking to get into the space, and and then uh, you know as far upstream as as uh, as uh, talking and discussing and finding ways to collaborate with the big miners. Um, that's a that's a big sort of big part of the story. So, you know, our, my job is to really to, is to is to, to convert those into uh, you know real commercial and and meaningful deals, and that's uh, that's what we're doing. The 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 good news is we've we've got. Dozens, literally, of these uh, of these things underway right now. We're going to be adding more. Okay, Dan. I hope I go uh, less than nine months before I see you next time. Oh yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, let's make a point of getting together in the next few months then. And that sounds give you more updates. Thanks, that Peter. sounds wonderful. Dan Blundell from Nano One. I'm Peter Clausy signing off from Investor Intel. Have a safe night. <laughs>